will there be a Hutter Jr.? For a minute, there was uh, or there was a close call if there was a junior coming. Wait, whoa, whoa really? Oh. Rohan TV has a child and comes out the womb, and he's like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> exactly. I think uh, he's going to propose with the house. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, house, travel, getting married are like the big things. Ladies and gentlemen, can we get a round of applause? Because today we have returning the most anticipated guest of this century wow. to It Is What It Is podcast, the one, the only, the infamous RTV Hutter himself. himself. Mm -hmm. That's our, me. Our only returning guest on the podcast. This is our first time having a guest. In a minute, man. And the first time having a guest in the new setup. So, honestly, you should feel honored, sir. Wow, yeah. definitely honored. You Thank should. You. But Th do thankful. you feel honored? <sighs> no. Like, But yes, guys, I'm just joking, man. Come on. You could have taken it. your talents anywhere, bro. You're a very uh, highly respectable man. You know, mm -hmm. nowadays you're a business guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Uh, he's still doing the hut over there. <laughs> Yeah. But wow, man, it's just a crazy, a crazy, it's a crazy life we live in <laughs> these days. That, that's fact. The world is crazy. The world is crazy, man. You know, and I. This, speaking of the hutter, I came to the wrong building when I pulled up here. He did. And I it think started I was with outside the hut for like fifteen minutes. That's um, classic <laughs> hut. So just you know, still on brand, still hutting hard sometimes. So speaking of hutting, actually, you know, I don't know if this happened to you, but while me, Ricky, and DJ Fab were coming up to the podcast set. We actually hutted and got stuck in the elevator. Oh. Yeah. That's so, terrible. Uh, Very scary. Hopefully you can make it out, or else we might just have to film, like, another one. Yeah. But, uh, you know. It's very, it's very interesting, because I don't... You guys are the only ones who created hutting. You are the hutter himself. I personally want to know, and I'm pretty sure they want to know, mm -hmm. how was the word hutting or becoming a hutter created like what was the Their origination date? of it yeah i oh. want to know there's how a very it particular story i got this i mean i don't know specifically when it happened but it's after jabba the hut the hutter like he jabba the hut if you've watched star wars we'll pop a picture up just he i think he just looks like a hutter I think he, <laughs> he looks like a hutter and, uh, and the whole idea is like he would i think he would like tie his prisoners to a chain and like choke him and like <laughs> i don't know exactly i haven't seen star wars in a minute but you get the point. Job of the hut looks like a hutter, chokes people. But how you, you choke? But, but when you choke, yeah, you yeah. make the hut, hut, hut sound, and like it. I think and, and that's, someone that huts is a yeah. hutter. Yeah. And then you just became the hutter. The hutter. Yeah. Well, how did RTV become the hutter? Like out of all of us, uh, how he, just take him? a look at any, click any uh, one of our videos over the past seven years. If it's a challenge video, most likely this man lost, and I was the hutter. So I, re it, I remember the most infamous hut too. Rohan is a massive football guy. Mm -hmm. oh. And on his channel, he had these series called the Olympic Games and decided to do a football Olympic Games. And I think he was expecting the loser dare to be so difficult because he knew he was never going to lose. Like RTV losing a football challenge. This dude loves football. Look at his shirt. It says protect Joe Burrow, which if you didn't know that, that is a football player, a quarterback for the Bengals. This dude's a massive fan of them. But this dude... Big football guy. So you won't expect this guy to lose. And I lost. Um, of course, though. It was inevitable. It was expected, though. Crazy. Yeah. You know. Hut, hut. Hut, hut. I mean, that's It's almost... But the thing is, if you really break it down, if you really go back and check all the videos, I feel like maybe you didn't lose as much as we think you did, but you lost the first couple when you joined our videos, and that just set the tone for the rest of your YouTube career. Yeah. Which no, is absolutely. crazy, because how you start... Can just you can fall into that place and then you are you known, as the known as that. Yeah. Like me as one hit Rick, bro. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm called one hit Rick sometimes, bro. I'm known as the kid that peed his pants in Target. Like I was walking around the other day and some kid. That's literally what he says. He didn't say, "Dude, are you Nick? Are you Ninja Nick? Are you NCK?" He said, "Dude, aren't you that kid that peed his pants in Target?" Oh, mm. and just like that's that's me. Yeah, no. I mean, every time I think of Nick, like I get a call, phone call from Nick, I just think of the little fourteen year old, you know, squeaker. It's like, can't even hear what he said at <laughs> the time. Just remember the squeaky little 14-year-old. So The glow up is crazy. You know, it's that, that first impression's always hit different. So. It really is, though, bro. Yeah. But, yeah, I guess being a hutter, is that is that a staple? Will that be genetically passed down to your child? 
<laughs> is there a Hutter Jr. coming anytime soon, or will there be a Hutter Jr.? For a minute, there was or there was a close call if there was a junior coming. Just kidding. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa really? Whoa. If, you guys, if you guys didn't know, I don't know. Am I allowed to say this? You have you have a girlfriend, right? A yeah, long time girlfriend. Yeah. You gotta add entertainment value for the folks, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So, but um, juicy. Will it be passed down? I mean, I don't know if it'll be genetically passed down, but it'll be embraced no matter what. Mm. You know what I mean? Like comes. Imagine Rohan TV has a child and comes out the womb, and he's like, "Wow, wow, wow!" What if his, exactly. his first word is "hut"? Oh that'd man, be magical, that'd be dope. That'd be yeah, crazy. You gotta record that. Oh, of course, of course. I'm recorded. I'll have a little vlog camera. So back to the what you're talking about. You almost had a close encounter with having a baby. You said though. Yeah, can we talk about that? No, not really. Uh, wasn't you, really close. You following Jideon's footsteps? No, not Jideon's footsteps. You know, you know Jideon. You know what he is known for, right? He's a professional raw uh, dogger. Raw dogger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. 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 None uh, no, of that. None of that. Safe, the proper safe, precautions safe, are safe. in place. Um, okay. You know, it's important to have those uh, safety precautions. You know. Yeah, you got to have your safety precautions in place. Uh, yeah, I think Ricky knows really well. Nick should know. Whoa, I can't huh? lie. I don't know. If, I'm not the most cautionary guy. I oh. know I probably should be, but I'm, if I'm being honest, sometimes, you know, sometimes you get caught up in the heat of the moment. Whoa. <laughs> well, let me tell you. Let me tell you something, young Warthog. When you get caught up in the moment, you end up like your boy DJ Fab with two kids. So, uh. Just take the. Pro- he got caught the, in the moment twice. Twice, so. I got caught. I have two kids. <laughs> uh, <you know. laughs> oh, whoa! So. You got true caught story. Though. That's true, true story. story. Yeah, yeah. But you, but you were more of the age where you like want a kid because you're. Yeah, almost, yeah. It, we saw the comment in the last vid. Bud's almost thirty, which is crazy. He's like a full. We're all grown men here, but like, yeah. Bud's like a, a man. A man. I mean, you're a dad. A I mean, dad. I'm a dad. Yeah. You are all men here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're all men here, but well, I'm, I mean, nowadays. Uh, no, yeah, we are. <laughs> We're men. Uh, I'm a but are you, when are you going to have a kid, you think? Yeah, how old are you? Uh, I'm 24. It's my Kobe year. This is great. We should do uh, 24 for celebrating 24, because I'm about to turn 24, too. Right, yeah. We should do 24 24 hour challenges. In one day. That's- <laughs> In one day. <laughs> no, I'm having a kid. I don't know. Bro, that'd be crazy. In my 30s. 30? You're going to wait till 30? Probably. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to work, you know, enjoy, travel. Uh, and that's like the that's the plan, I think. Can I mean, we talk? In- can we talk a little bit about? I'm sure the people want to know what is RTV up to nowadays. We touched on it a little bit last episode, but that was like what, like over a year ago, I think. Yeah, I think about a year ago. Yeah, I work in corporate America. My office is, I think, like a block away from your place, but I work from home, so I never go in there really. Yeah, but uh, it's right around the corner, and uh, yeah, that's what I do, man. I've I've seen on your Instagram you've also been doing a lot of running recently. Oh yeah, a lot is of there running. is there like any, you know, you do it for your mental? Or do you do you want to do you want to be a professional runner? What is what does this running do to you in your life? Yeah, so mm-hmm. I'm actually already a professional runner. Really? Um, yeah. I'm, so? I'm pro by myself. I designate myself <laughs> what? as professional. <laughs> what, professional. What, what what defines a professional runner? Huh? Um, is it exactly. I don't money? know. So I'm professional, man. Oh, facts. I'm just calling myself professional. He's pretty fast, yeah, actually, though. I'm, I'm professional. Yeah. So I'm professional. Uh, to answer your question, I would say... Self-proclaimed. I mean, I've been in the gym, and, like, I get so big, and then it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, see, wait, wait. I want to hear this. I want to hear this. I want to hear this. Right here. Right here. So I get so big, then my, none of my clothes fit. So then none of my clothes fit. <laughs> and then it's like this whole thing where it's like I'm too thick where Bro. my clothes don't fit. So like I, lifting too, I think there's then no you have competitive. To buy a new clothes, there's no right? competitive in it. It's like you go in there, you lift, you look good, you take a picture of yourself, feel really good. Mm-hmm. And that's cool. And that's good. That's important. But running, I can compete. Like I can race. I can compete against myself. I can compete against other people. You can beat people. against yourself? That's true. And I, think I can true. compete against myself. Yeah, you're, you're setting oh. a time and you're trying to beat goals. Another thing too is putting on your running shoes and running in the city with music in your ears for six, seven, eight, ten miles, lifting will never, ever get me that same type of feeling or that same type of high. Like your runner high. Yeah, it's not even really close either. And so if I like doing it more, it's, I mean, definitely key to do that. And I think genetically I'm a little more talented for running than lifting. But you got so big so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got huge. They're like, I couldn't even fit through the doorway a lot of times. Uh, the back's it. so big. I was, it's just so inconvenient with all the muscles so and all that. It's right? so inconvenient, man, you know? So, so you get jacked, run, and then get jacked again, and then run. We see. It's dude. like a little about, cycle. It is a cycle. Yeah, no, I ain't getting jacked again, though, man. 
Not getting jacked again. That's key. But like, I mean, those legs could. though. Those legs are nice. Uh, these are, yo, <laughs> I'm surprised yo, this, I, this, this couch for him is not just holding yo. you up. <laughs> for real. I'm, yo, I recently just weighed myself. I'm 226, bro. Jeez. This is the biggest I've ever been. And, you know, my girlfriend, she's pregnant. So I'm, I'm getting all the cravings. <laughs> I'm getting all the cravings, bro. Is that bro. how it works? What? Yo. Two, she gets the cravings. No, I exactly bro. I was, at, I was at the movies yesterday uh with my with my, my daughter and her, and I ate two large popcorns by myself, Whoa, dog. My with God. extra butter? No butter. I can't eat butter, but with the butter. It, you know, it, it comes with butter still. Yeah, no, bro. no, but the extra butter. What did butter, you watch? Little Mermaid? No, I watched uh, Spider Man. Okay. Pretty oh. gas movie. You guys haven't seen it, go watch it. But yeah, I realized Or watch it is what it is. Yeah, podcast. forget yeah. from Spider Man. They ain't yeah, <laughs> yeah, then, then I, yeah, yeah, but I, I promised myself, and I'm going to tell you guys here, all three, you guys, because you guys are, you guys are key factors in my life, and you guys motivate me a lot, a lot. After the surgery, I promised myself, and I, on everything that I love, that I will be back on my fitness. I need to, I need to eat cleaner, because when I was doing the boxing conditioning and stuff like that, I felt a whole different person inside me. Mm -hmm. I woke oh. up with better energy. Yes. Oh, definitely. Everybody around me had charisma. Like imagine if you had one negative person in your friend circle and everybody's positive. It like throws the balance. It brings off. it down a little yeah, bit. So I, yeah. So I promise after it's like a God giving me new eyes. Mm -hmm. Cause I just found out that I'm Literally. getting, yeah, for real. I'm getting You're two. Getting new eyes. I'm getting two surgeries on both of my eyes, and I feel like I'm going to be a whole different person. So I feel like just to you know give give to myself and just love. Like it's That's more so of good. like no, it's no, no, more no. Of just like but you know honestly, what I'm bro. Before the transfer, no, before good. the transformation, <laughs> sometimes before the transformation. Wow. You should get soup, like eat crazy, bro. <laughs> I like, am go hard, like go like really like get up to two. 50, bro, so that the transformation is even crazier. Bro, this is, this is, this is going to be... Why do you think a brother was eating two things of popcorn? Bro, this no, is it's key, sound, though, because the drastic is, change is way better. This is going to sound so crazy, bro, but I really can't see my pee-pee. Like, my whoa, belly... Whoa, whoa. Bro, That's my belly... Is that the fun fact yo, of the day already? Yo, That's my God. belly, my belly fat literally... <laughs> yo, buddy, buddy, buddy. My belly fat literally overlaps, and I cannot see it, dog. Like, I bad. literally can't see it. That's crazy. I'm 100%. That's what? And look, I'm fat. Like, I I feel... Like, when you look down, you just can't, you can't see I it? I can't, bro. I got belly fat, and I've never had that day in my life, dog. Yeah. Well, it's either belly fat or... <laughs> no, it's... A, my anaconda don't... But you're so right about, like, the perspective thing of, like, if you're waking up in a good mood, you're motivated, and how you look at the world, how you interact with people... What you look for is what you're gonna get. Facts. It's uh, it's just like if you're in a good well, mood, he's looking for his pee pee, and he ain't getting it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's tough, man. But sometimes, no. it, sometimes it does. It takes something like drastic to happen in your life for yeah. you to realize and like almost take a step back. Like I feel like for COVID, for a lot of people, you thought about like, yo, what really matters? Like family, yeah. being with people that you love, and like doing something you're passionate about. No, that's yeah. Facts. yeah, definitely. Yeah, I guess even to your question too. I'm so much into running. I broke my ankle in 2021. And I couldn't run. And then when I was able to run, I was like, damn. It really gave me perspective on why. You appreciate I love it, running right? so much. For yeah, real. yeah. Cause and, you, I feel yeah. like you stopped for a while and just oh. like, you just started lifting and yeah, getting lifting. jacked so yeah. fast, so quick. I was so huge. It was like, like I said, couldn't really walk through doors. Just so that. big. Yeah. No, I relate to that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, relate yeah, to yeah. that. <laughs> You're just so sexy. You know? No, it's I relate like, to God, that. Yeah. Because like, I, I played basketball a lot. And then I like, I started lifting because Ricky was getting into lifting again. And then like, I was lifting and it was just like, I didn't feel very nimble playing basketball. You're so I was, strong. I was like stiff. Like it was like, Imagine like someone super jacked yeah. playing basketball. Yeah, they just, just like, look weird sometimes. It's like <laughs> awkward. You're not. They're not fluid with their motions. You're like just, they might. But you're really good at picking things up, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's <laughs> critical. I, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's like really what if you're good. trapped underneath something heavy? Yeah, exactly. Then that's it would right. come in handy. <laughs> exactly. So so big that you can't even wipe your booty is what I'm hearing. Dude, some no. sometimes he can. He used to can do that. Nah, fuck that. I ain't wiping. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. When you're that jack, you don't need a wipe, bro. <laughs> no. no one's gonna say anything. No, no, I ain't, ain't wiping. <laughs> That oh, but like, no. be honest. Like, you've ever been sore? Like, maybe hit a little bit of biceps. It's a little bit hard to reach under there sometimes. <laughs> oh like, yeah, for real. Especially yeah. the first. Do you guys ever remember the first time you ever hit biceps in your life? Oh yes. I hit biceps. I was walking around like this, bro. I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't shame. extend. I called my aunt. She's a nurse. Well, we're Asian, so all of our aunts are nurses. But she's actually white. Our aunt's white. No, no. The one I called was Asian, though. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Like, there's so, just so many nurses in the family. Yeah. Either, either. Oh if they're gosh. uncle, they're probably doctor. If they're woman, then they're 
Nurse. Nurse. Okay, okay. But so I called her and I was like, yo, I can't. Like, I was like, I couldn't extend my arms. I couldn't extend my arms past this, bro. That's terrible. It hurt so bad for like three days. Yeah, in high school, in high school, I did chest with some people. And I was, I had a bird chest right there. I mean, I was so flat. You could have called me flat Stanley if slide under the doors. I got, I was so sore on my chest. I, I mean, I couldn't even run. Just r- moving my arms back. I thought my shoulders were going to rip off. <laughs> but now you have got milk Real. in there. Two percent right? yeah, whole yeah. milk. Actually, now, now I mean, I can, I have enough milk in here to give us all a nice bowl of cereal. Bowl of cereal. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, guys. You didn't see this in the videos before, but before we do the intros of the videos, Rohan would like squeeze his chest and give us all milk so that we are hydrated for the videos for the protein you know delicious absolutely absolutely I, n- I have never lift all through high school all through middle school never i never lift my baseball coach would make me run because i never wanted to do any of the workouts i didn't start lifting until i was like 23 i would say i was so scared because my grandma told me well if you lift up heavy stuff your balls are gonna shrink your balls are gonna shrink now and, you can't even see them and now i'm like yo grandma <laughs> My grandma was not lying. So I still shrunk. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I could never get into weightlifting. It was always, like, calisthenics or push-ups or... Calisthenics, though, you can get pretty... You can get pretty solid on calisthenics. That's what I That's all you did when you were on the 15 and you looked like you were a 23-year-old man. Yeah, I just do push-ups and pull-ups type stuff. Keto. Eating, too, is very important for the health as well. Oh, yeah. Very, very, very... Yeah. The biggest thing is just getting in there and doing it and pushing yourself. That's yeah. key. Because a lot of people, they're like, oh, what do I do? Yeah, no, eating is definitely key. I mean, yeah. I, uh, down in Fort Myers, where I live primarily, I see the same kid in there for the past, like, year and a half. Looks the same. Like, in he's the in gym? There, oh, looks, he's in there five days a week. Like, every time I'm in there, he's there. He looks the exact like same. what? Is he, like, DJ Khaled? You know, DJ <laughs> no, Khaled been looks, making the story. No, he's like me in high school, basically. He looks like me in high school. Like, super skinny? Yeah, he grinds, though. But I don't I don't think he'd be eating, though, because he looks the exact same. You got to eat yeah. a lot yeah. if you're like, trying to like the DJ. Lot, it's the DJ Khaled effect, not DJ Fabuloso. DJ Khaled effect. Looks like that guy, he's always like, I'm grinding, I'm grinding. He looks the same for the past 10 years. Yeah, it's, I'm like, damn, man. I want to say something. And you see him, too. He'll get talked up. Yeah, you're in the, when you're in the gym, the old guy will just be talking to you for like yeah. 30 minutes. He'll pick on the young kid, try to tell him what to do. Young blood, you, yeah, need, yeah. A, you need a lift a little bit But more, I think you come blood. across in a good way where you could give him some good motivation. Some people come across in like a, like a douchey way where they're like, oh, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's facts. I mean, you got to... Bro, what, uh, what are you eating? I mean, you're eating popcorn, two bro, bags. I'm in the eating movie theater, so. literally everything. Yesterday, he's working had on that before. Two M and M cookie, bro. At the movie theater, two large popcorns, a slushy, and like me, one and a half cookie of M and M's, bro. I was just, I'm, I just, I, picked, I don't have a. Wait, diet. you picked me up this morning too, and he had a bacon bro, beef jerky. I, I had bacon I beef jerky heard. in my thing, bro. What, bro? For real, I'm on my. Like, I just don't. No but discipline. No discipline. No discipline. I, I'm just enjoying. But as long as you know, you know what you want right he now. He knows that yeah. he's enjoying. Yeah. He's in that but phase, bro. You're no. not beating yourself up. You're not like, man, I should be doing this. Because you know that when you get your eye surgery done, then you're going to go hard. Yeah. But also, when I was, I had my daughter during the boxing stuff, bro. Imagine going to Disney and you can't eat a churro with your kid. I'm over here. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't the first thing. You know what I'm <laughs> saying, bro? I was, I was all, I was yeah. so disciplined. Didn't eat nothing and nothing. Now that I have Mia for a couple of days, that's the name of my daughter, by the way. I, I'm, I'm eating whatever she wants. What you, yo? Let's go. Let's have fun. Popcorn boomer because I didn't yeah, get the opportunity. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I know when she leaves, I'm gonna be depressed. But then my surgery will be complete. My mental is gonna be so crazy, boys. It's, it's even like, even if you have like a girlfriend, like you can be on your grind eating healthy and stuff, but then it's like, oh, you're, you and your girlfriend want to go out to dinner. Then it's like, man, what am I, like, I'm not just going to order like chicken and broccoli. You can, no, dinner. you can. You can, you it's can, possible. You, you can, can, but it's like. <laughs> I've done that before with Rohan. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you yeah. definitely can. But it's, it's definitely like, harder. It's you have bro. to be yeah. more, uh, like if the option isn't there, like if you're not going out to eat, then the option of even ordering something isn't even there. For sure, for sure. You know? Yeah. I mean, I don't count my macros. I eat everything, whatever I want, and, and just uh, run. Well, just you, you run. Can, yeah, yeah. live run a healthy now. lifestyle. Balance, though. Balance, if you're if yeah. if you're overthinking that much and it's stressing you out, then it's not even beneficial. No. Like if you're like, oh, I can't be doing this, and then it's like you're good. You're eating everything, but you're stressing yourself yeah. out so much. That's facts. It's a balance. I feel like in life, if you don't balance your work and what makes you happy, I think it gets very confusing for yourself. <laughs> Because, bro, there's there's a lot of times, like, a lot of people, they'll start something. Like, maybe they'll start the fitness journey, mm. and they'll be, like, chubby or super skinny. They'll go hard. They'll eat super healthy for a couple of days. But it is, it's, sometimes it's hard to keep that up rather than just being, like, 
I'll eat a little bit healthier than I was, and maybe I'll just cut out the popcorn. Yeah, so so wait, so when are, when are you boxing, NTK? You <laughs> what am I boxing? Yeah, Whoa, like, dude, so um, boxing! All, I see you punching the punching bag all the time on Snapchat, doing all this action, but I don't see. I don't see it. You're wearing the Muhammad Ali shirt too. And you're good at fighting too, man. You get in there, you take dubs, but it's a lot of time. It just takes up a lot of time. I mean, it's not out of the picture though. But the fans want to see it though. I know, man. I think Ricky, I think Ricky, you know, I thought, I think Ricky's got to get in there. Oof. Yeah, I mean, I'm a more of a street fighter. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll bang it in the roads. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ricky's like, uh, I'm like, like, if someone, if we prank someone, I'll street fight him right there, like the one dude on the football thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think in the ring, more technical, the the big hoss over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm more might, of like, uh, uh, yo, you want to go right now in the street? I don't need that whole press conference lead up. Yeah, yeah I might. <laughs> but you love that press conference. I love the press conference. If I did, I, I was talking about this with Nick. If I did do a fight, if I did do a fight. Um, I'm just gonna say right here they they offered me to fight um the Lopez brothers. the Lopez brothers oh I thought they fought you to fight uh these these nuts in your yeah. mouth <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah uh, the, the, uh, oh, DJ Fab well, so I thought he fights them in your mouth every night when you guys go to Ricky Ricky t- <laughs> typically fights the urge to put these nuts in his mouth that's yeah yeah fights. but he that's that's, that's the urge. hardest discipline of not eating food because I really like those in my mouth. But um, someone else that likes young nuts in their mouth, the Lopez brothers. Oh, yeah. So oh. what, basically what I was saying is I don't know if it was a confirmed offer, but basically this guy was telling me, like, they're down. And I said, dude, the press conference for, for that would be crazy. I would have so much ammunition. Bah, I could say bah. literally, like, oh, bud, you probably wanted this fight, like, a couple years ago or my younger brother because he's, like, under 18. <laughs> yeah. I could say, like, oh, buddy, are you going to take a helicopter to the press conference? You know, because of this thing. Oh. You remember that? I don't remember that. Uh, we we would pop it up, but I don't think we can pop it he up. He helicoptered. Damn. If you don't know what it is, then you don't know. If you know, you know. He, he took his little thing and, you know, spin it around oh, a little bit. Like, kind of like I, a helicopter. I think I, okay, okay. Yes, uh, yeah. Maybe some of these clips will go viral, and maybe it'll happen. Maybe this is the start of it right now. Yeah, but that beef going. Ooh. I don't even care because it's like the press conference would be so good because I love talking. Yeah. That, you know, when the press conference, two people go up and then they face off uh-huh. and they, like, push each other. Mm-hmm. Bro. I wouldn't even push, bro. I go in for a straight punch to the face. <laughs> I go and throw it all away. I wouldn't even care about making it to the ring. I would oh. throw it all away right there, and because it's like, bro, why are we pushing each other? Just like fight right now. Yeah, no, yeah. I, forget I, the lead up. I don't <laughs> care about the bag. Yeah, forget that. Also, uh, the drama that it will cause, the respect that it will gain from everyone, all the girls that like he doesn't, whatever he did to them. Yeah, like the respect just goes up. Just like, getting hey. when he deserves it, you know, right there. We no point it. in waiting, bro. Just yeah. like. Why do people wait till they get to the ring? Just so Austin McBroom can't pay him later. Yeah, I mean, Conor McGregor, went, before he was fighting Khabib Nurmagomedov, he just threw the chair through the bus. He's like, I ain't waiting. I'm throwing a chair through your bus now. But, but even then, he, the, the bus, he, he like threw it. It didn't even hit. Like, it hurt a couple people. It didn't hit his main target. No damage. I'm waiting till I'm right there. Then I'm going to be like, yeah. right to the face, bro. I don't even care if they take the whole purse away. It's going viral. I'll tell you viral that Viral clip. That's, vi- that's, that's definitely viral. viral. And yeah. I know what I'm going to say right after, too. What? Or we can't. We got to wait until gotta it wait. happens. Oh, okay. Because it's going to happen. You guys can make it happen. Smash the like button. RTV, RTV, I got to ask you something. All right, what's up? So uh, you came with us. We did the whole 24-hour overnight marathon. Ricky's mm-hmm. actually wearing the shirt right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. You came with us, and you were in a lot of those episodes. Yep. And that was kind of like that was like your first time being in the video in a while, maybe years. Mm-hmm. Did you miss it at all? I think I miss being in the vids. The only thing I don't miss is, like, having my own channel and, like, constantly monitoring shit. You know what I mean? Like, like the constant, like, uh, it's like you're always on kind of type thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like you can't, like, I mean, even being here, I'm still kind of thinking about work, even though today's a small, or it's a slow day today. Yeah. But, yeah, with YouTube, it's, you're just constantly thinking about like if it's views, like a wheel. video, this, this, and this. Like, as soon as yeah. you finish one video, you, it's almost like, oh, wh- what's the next mm-hmm. one that I can do, the next biggest thing? Yeah, and next. it's not like, and I guess, unless your video, like, I mean, you guys have been doing it for so long, but it didn't feel like my videos were getting... Like, I wasn't feel like anything I was making was really groundbreaking in any sort of way. So, I wasn't really, like, pushing the boundaries or, or anything. You weren't, like, proud? Ma- no. Like, not- you didn't feel like you were satisfying your hunger inside? Yeah, exactly. And, like, the stuff I do now. You're progressing? I'm progressing really fast, learning so much. Every day feels like something new, so fresh. And that's kind of, like, why I like doing that more. But, I mean, to miss it, yeah, I definitely miss, you know. I mean, quite frankly, yeah, screwing around with you guys. That's always fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Like, <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. Whenever we would film together, this is it. Because maybe you're feeling the same way in work because it's all new and stuff. But I feel like maybe you felt like that in the beginning, YouTube, because you're learning everything. Yeah. Like, you always got to be learning, mm-hmm. especially you. 
But like when we started filming and you started filming, like you started your own channel. I remember when Nick and I would be in your videos, there was a lot less pressure. pressure. Oh, yeah. When you're oh, in someone yeah. else's videos, mm -hmm. because you're not thinking, all right, if I film this, then I'm going to edit this here and this montage is going to go here and then we have to make sure this goes here. You're just there. Exactly. And they're the director. Exactly. But then when it's your video, you would think maybe you'd like it more because it's yours, but it's almost like you have more pressure. You have to... You're like thinking about how everything's going and yeah, if it doesn't yeah. go right, you want it to go this way. You're almost more yourself like when you're in someone else's video. Yeah. Oh you, yeah. Yeah. You're Absolutely. not when you're thinking about all that, you just start you know, I don't know how to explain it. It is hard to explain. You gotta almost have to have done it before to really have perspective you on it. You have to have done yeah. it to know yeah. how it feels, but like Yeah. But also the thing about YouTube is like every week even some people used to post every day, but even if you're posting every week, as soon as you're done. You're thinking, all right, what is the next thing I'm filming? What is the next thing I'm filming? <clears throat> yeah, and then, like, if you post a video and then, like, the, I mean, you're, you're basically compensating your career is based on what other people think of the work that you created, yep. whether it's good or bad. Yep. And, like, that's, some, that's always tough, like, being a YouTuber. And, like, when the stuff isn't going well, I mean, it definitely correlates to not yeah. feeling the best. Yeah, and yeah it's like, going bro, really well, you feel great. Dude. I, I hate that a lot. I hate it. It sucks. That. I guess I like, hated that. I don't know if you guys know, the viewers, but when you post a video, YouTube does this thing. It ranks your video one out of 10, how it's performing. So if you post a video and it's going like getting a lot of views, more than your, your normal uh, videos get, then it will be ranked one out of 10. And, and if it's getting like less views, it'll be ranked towards the bottom. And when you get that one out of 10, Dude, it's almost like a drug, bro. Like you, you walk around the city and you are like, yeah, you're coming over later. I'm going here. I'm going to dinner. Like, you just feel yeah. like you're on top of the oh, world, yeah, yeah. bro. Oh, yes. you do. If you get that 10 out of 10, it's like you start like re rethinking, like, am I doing this right? Like, what mm -hmm. should I do differently? Like, should your I change the thumbnail? Should we? Yeah. <laughs> you, you rethink no, your life, bro. You rethink. And then you're in, you're in like your room and you're like. Damn, bro. I'm not good anymore, bro. Yeah. Am I like, good enough? This is what happened to FouseyTube. I remember we all grew up watching mm -hmm. FouseyTube, bro. And he would go through these cycles where his vids were going crazy and he'd be in such a good mood. And then they'd do bad and he'd be in a bad mood. You yeah, could tell. That's tough, man. It definitely is like a big a big part of like doing YouTube that a lot of people don't see. But it is always like a little constant thing in your mind going. Yeah, it's the constant thing in your mind. And then for me, doing what I was doing. And to your point, it was definitely way easier to film for you guys than myself so like that's another thing but the constant pressure and then it just didn't and nothing i was doing felt like it was anything crazy and so Are you, i feel like you as a person you always want to be like like going up uh, and yeah. up and up yeah to an extent for sure or just almost having feeling like my worth is meaningful to myself at least um like, uh, what's even the, what's if the, the word for are, it purpose purpose kind of purposeful yeah i would say purposeful yeah, I would say like perfectly. using your talents to the best of your ability. You exactly. felt like you were better in a different field, and you could add exactly. more value. That's a great. Yeah. It's like yeah, you can it. go to the. Yeah. You could go into a bodybuilding competition and probably do really good with how big you are. Yeah, exactly. but your talents are probably used a little better somewhere else. Somewhere else. That's a great way to put it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and I got okay. way better feedback once I kind of transitioned too. Like people are like, oh my god, you're really good at what you do. I never really got that on YouTube. I mean, I know people are like, oh, you know, we love your videos, and that's cool and great. But at the end of the day. I don't really see all of the viewers. You don't see your viewers see that much. I mean, you yeah. see but the you comments. But you have changed then, lives, bro. Yeah. You have to remember that. Oh, you yeah, have, no, like, absolutely, bro, that's absolutely. Like, like thousands at, at oh, yeah. the least. I still see people in the... Usually it's at Publix because a lot of the viewers have grown up now, so I'll see them in Publix. I'll be cashing out. <laughs> yeah. I do see a lot guys. there too. Yeah, Publix and grocery stores, stores in general because uh, a lot so, of you guys will be working and stuff, so... You know, and that's crazy that you say that, bro, because in the beginning of like when I got inspired to do YouTube was because of you guys on tour. Rohan would always call me and invite me. And Rohan was a he wasn't a perfect like a, a person who wanted everything perfect. He wanted he wanted to one up his last video. Right. Your first million uh, million view video was blasting inappropriate songs in public. Mm -hmm. And I remember one time we would go into the to USF and put the speaker into mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. backpack. And if the scene was shitty, he would be like, bro, no, we need to find another one. No, we need to do a f we need to find another one. And Rohan really took me along the ropes of realizing that angles are important. And this is the stuff that you people that we were talking about earlier about how everything has to be like like understood that the angles have to be perfect. If you do a prank, you want to get their reaction. Oh, man. OK, this is not good. And that's what Rohan was starting off when what I sh saw and then working with you guys all the angles and everything has to be 
for the entertainment of you guys. We think for you guys and what, what you guys enjoy. And uh, touching on what you said exactly is definitely so true. It's like, bro, you're a perfect, like you're a person who really wants to be better than who you were yesterday, each and every day. And yeah. I, I got to give you your flowers for that, for showing me that rope. Yeah, our TVs are rare breed. Right? Every day yeah, is yeah, day yeah. one, though. Think about that. Every day is day one. That's a great. Remember, uh, one true warrior. Every day is day one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every day is day one. That's a really good thing to live by. So, because you can yeah. get caught up in the. Oh, yeah. If you're say right. you're really bad at something or you're not doing good in life, then you're like, man, everything's bad. But also, it can be reversed. If you think you're just really good and you don't have to do anything anymore. And you're not continually progressing. Yeah, you're just gonna fall back. Yeah, the only thing guaranteed is change. And no matter how high you get on one day, it's not irrelevant. It's good. You gotta enjoy those highs. But it really is every day is day one. Shit could go down the next day, and it's whatever. You know what I mean? Everything is almost thrown out the door. So you gotta be able to like enjoy the good times. Know the bad times are coming, but then like stay kind of just even keel for the next day. day. Yeah, steady. I really want to know this, though, because we all, every human here has dealt with depression. Mm. RTV, how do you deal with depression, bro? Mm, I would say it's almost like more anxiety for me. Mm -hmm. Like, even just sitting here, like, I have my phone open for work. I'm kind of, I'm not really stressed out right now (laughs) because I know everything's good. But it's more like managing the anxiety. So, for me, it's like running is the key for me. Mm. Went for an Mm. hour run today. That kind of just kind of slows everything down for me. Like, I'm just kind of. Not thinking really too fast. Everything's kind of slowed down. I can control kind of my thoughts. So hmm. exercising early is key for me. That's really critical. Nick, like early, like in early in the morning. Early in the morning. Like if puts you, you in a great mood for the rest of the day. Yes. Yeah. Like I, I noticed cheat code. And if I work real. out in the afternoon. Or the night. At night, there's just way too much things. Going I on can't on. sleep at night. I want really? to focus exercise. on work. I want to focus on whatever the hell is going through my brain. But in the morning, it kind of just, it kind of slows me down, relaxes me. No more anxiety. And I'm ready for my day. So you feel way better when you when you go for a run in the morning versus oh, yeah. being super jacked. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, and I can still work out. Like the good thing with working remote, like I went for the run at six thirty, got back at seven thirty, went to the gym, was able to be on by eight forty five, ready to go. Boom. You know. So do you optimize your day where you're not you're minimizing the decisions you have to make? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you the mental me, yeah. energy. Yeah, yeah. But absolutely. in terms of like, you already know, all right, I'm going on this run. I'm going, I'm doing this. And then I'm coming right back and you're, you know what you're eating exactly. Pretty much planned out. Yeah. I mean, but that's stuff that, that can be planned out. So you might as well plan it out a little yeah, bit, yeah, yeah. you know, but some things, you know, you can't always plan out. You got to let the shit flow. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. No, no, yeah. 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 For some, like, 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 thing, a, yeah. yeah. Like even like with a video, like you can, you can plan out like the intro and stuff, you know, the stuff that you're going to do, but then. For our video type of videos, I mean, there's people like Brent Rivera, where it's like every line oh. is scripted out, you know? Even his responses, too. Yeah. But then, but then other, time, <laughs> other times, it's like, yo, if we're doing overnight in movie theater, it's like, all right, we know we're going to the movie theater, and then what happens, happens. <laughs> exactly. That's the way to do it, too, though. That's, some, you, get, you, get more, you get more done. Because yeah. 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 if you, sometimes if you plan out everything, then it's like, all right, now I'm just taking all my day to plan everything. Yeah. Or just, you're big about action. Yeah, getting action. stuff done. Like, even when we were filming the overnight challenges... Our TV would always be like, yo, guys, we need to keep moving. Like, what are we doing just sitting here talking? We're slooping around. What's the next? Around. Is it What's going to progress us to the, move forward? The word is being proactive. So being proactive versus reactive. If you know you have to do something, just go ahead and do it. Don't wait for anyone. Just go ahead and do it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. More than likely, if you – I mean, it's key. And, like, being proactive is the biggest key, I would say. And then if you are – if you know you have to do something, you don't know how to do it, you have to be willing to ask questions and put your ego aside and say, hey, guys, like, I am incompetent. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Can you help me? Those are, like, the two biggest keys, I would say, in anything, you know? Ask for help when yeah. you need help, man. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, Some yeah. people yeah, don't sure. want to ask for help, and they try and figure it out for four or five hours, and they waste so much time, and now they're frustrated. It's like, yeah, you could have just asked someone for some help and... Someone that's already been there before and knows yeah, what they're doing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And they would love to help. They, Most people love to oh, help because it makes them give. feel like they love to helping. give. Oh, absolutely. They yeah. <laughs> so definitely key on that. I mean, this guy's legs are just so big. <laughs> <laughs> he can't get over it. Bro, man. you know, you know what's crazy? Like, my, what when, the hell? I was dude, I was supposed chill. to be I was supposed to be a professional baseball player. I, I that was that was my I was set on being a professional <laughs> baseball player. And my dad would take me to the sand and he was like Baseball players have thick thighs. You know what I'm saying? Football players have thick thighs. And I would run in the sand at Clearwater Beach. And I, I have big calves and big thighs thanks to Clearwater. What about the rear end, though? The rear end. big two or is that a little No, no, bro. That thing is, oh, my. I can I'm, speak for him. 
That thing is, oh my I'm goodness, thick. bro. I'm yeah. thick, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm juicy. Like, Bigger I, than, uh, So, like, your dad was like, yo, only legs, upper body, screw that. We're no, just it, hammering the legs. Yeah, lifting weight will shrink your balls, but no, hey, yeah. bro, running the sand. I was just, bro, he's, he was just like, man, let's make it happen. What do you want to do? And he's the one who made me a DJ at 17. He bought me a controller. There you go. And then I was like, oh, I can do a wedding for $50. Here I am. All right. And that's how that happened. So, thick, juicy DJ, here I am. I just can't get over it. I'm sorry, guys. They're just so big, yeah. and they're right in front of you. It's like, damn, man. What, I, what am I going to do with all that, you know? Oh, you should see me when I... You <laughs> what are you going to do yeah, with what that? Are you, oh. What are you, you playing on Tell doing? Tell the people what you're going to do later. I'm I not going to do much, but, like, they're there, though. If anyone on the video wants to... You should them, see you know, when I wear like, shorts. Let's just say, like... <laughs> you should see it. Go watch the recent videos. Oh, if, okay, say, okay. Hypothetically, if we got in, like, a plane crash or something... <laughs> And like there was no food around, <laughs> we would be eating good. You'd be eating for a while, while. Yo, bro. This is enough for six months right here, baby. <laughs> Just the left leg. Six that's months. A, you still got two more legs. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys. We have this segment called Bizarre Questions with DJ Fab, where we ask our guests questions they they must answer within thirty seconds. Rohan TV, mm-hmm. how are you doing today? Good, good. All righty, here we go. Do we have the timer? Timer is locked. Timer is locked. <laughs> All right, remember, these are our opinion-based questions. We're just here to have a little bit of fun. Are you ready? Three, two, one, roll. If Joe Burrow, the quarterback Bengal, or the, the quarterback for the you Bengals. You can't even say the question, right? Hold on. So stop, stop, <laughs> stop. Can't. Restart, restart. restart. Three. <laughs> Welcome back to DJ Fabuloso's Three Questions with RTV. Three, two, one. If you had to save... Joe Burrow, who is the Bengals quarterback, or your mother hanging from a bridge, who are you saving? My mother. All right. Interesting Ooh. while we're wearing that shirt. No, I don't know. I don't see That's you wearing crazy. a pr- protect your mother shirt. I protect crazy. your mama. You got to protect your mom. That's man. insane. Come on, guys, right? If you had to change your full name to a new name, what would it be first, middle, and last? That's a good one. Yeah, I would good. say... Uh, Timer. Timer's ticking. You got three seconds. Timer's ticking. Three. Say something too. Joe, Joe Smith. John what? Doe. John Doe. Joe Smith? That's John like the Doe. whitest John name Doe. ever. <laughs> oh, John Doe. John Doe. What's John Doe, final answer. Middle name, though. Middle, What's name? middle name. Oh, John Patrick Doe. Oh, my <laughs> gosh, bro. Oh, John my gosh. John gave this guy a hamburger I and some french fries. Okay. What the hell? All right, going on, going on. Three favorite fast food restaurants. Ooh. Mm, Chick fil A. That's one. Oh, restaurants? Yes, three. three. Oh, three. Chick fil A, I would say you could throw on. Um, how much time do we have left? Well, all right. Three seconds. We'll, we'll go Chick fil A, PDQ, and then uh-huh. DJ Fab's thighs. Oh! <laughs> Best for last. Wow. Best for last. Wow. wow. Oh, do you guys have I think it? we have a bonus one, too. We do have one more bonus. We question. should do a bonus, right? The bonus round. We weren't going to do this one, but I feel like we should, right, Fab? We could. Well, on the fly call. I think, fly? I think it's a good one. A big <clears throat> bonus. Last. So this is the biggest one. You're going to have a little bit more time to think about this one. If you get this one correct, you can this double is, your prize. Are we really going right, to right. ask him this right now? I'd say, I'd say We're so. We're going to? Yep. Okay. Right, if you ask me this, I'm going to I'm gonna have to ask you the juicy one that I okay. have. Okay. Got All you. Right. Got you. <laughs> this is a rebuttal. But listen, you have to answer the question and give us a reasoning for it. <laughs> okay. Very important. All right. <clears throat> the bonus round. Do you believe in unicorns? Mm, no. And the reasoning behind that is because I have not seen one with my own two eyes. That's and, and I know that's not a good justification for everything, but that's the only reason why. Okay. So she, <laughs> great breakdown. That's right. the only reason why. So have you seen a unicorn? If I saw a unicorn, I'd be like, all then right. And probably believe in it. Yeah. But like, just because I don't, I, but and there's other instances where I could believe in something that I still haven't seen. Mm, very great clear. breakdown. That's yeah. very thorough. But for that specific case, that's why I don't believe in unicorns. Mm-hmm. Love that breakdown. But this is a unicorn though too here. So it's like, you know what I mean? Depending upon how you define a unicorn. True, true. Are you talking about the guy with the horn or are you talking about this guy? <laughs> <laughs> See, you weren't specific. <laughs> Bro, it's a bunch of oh, man. Yo, yeah. All right, ask him the question <laughs> that you had back. I want right, to hear so this. My question, and this one hits a little deep. Okay. You know Don't make I mean? me cry on this, bro. All right. Wait, this is a real I'm question. emotional. I'm an emotional okay. human being here. Can I get a wave check? Oh, I have braids. Oh, I you have, have braids, braids on? on. Oh, yeah. shit. 
Sorry. So you, so you can't. So yeah, can't it's just one? it's just braids. It's not waves. It's just braids. Oh, can I see the back of your You're head? You're just rocking yeah. the do rag for the culture. The oh, it's just a do rag <laughs> for the culture. Yeah, 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 I have long hair. Oh shit. Not yet. Yeah. I'll let you know when well, I that cut was, it. Well, that was just the little pre pre. pre okay, pre okay. Pre Give me the real question. Give me the All real right, question. So the real question is this, okay? If you could have two things, and you have to, it's yeah, I have to. It's not like an either or. Okay. All right. Would you rather? Damn, not the would you rather. Oh, this is intense. Kill off Ricky or kill off Nick? Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, whoa, whoa. You got to pick one, basically. You have to pick one. So, like, you're, you're like, you're like, you know, you got to pick one. Yeah, it's real personal. Obviously, you know. Yeah, this is interesting. There is no right answer. Like, someone's in, imagine someone is in here, they're holding you hostage, and they're like, if you don't pick, I'm going to kill them both. Oh. So, yeah. it's like, oh, All right, I have a good answer for this one. Who are you picking? I, I'll give you. I, okay, I know it's okay, hard for you, but okay. I've lived a longer life. Yeah, that's, three years. That's kind of where that's I was easy going. Easy way out. That's easy where easy I was, way out. Way Save out. yourself I was, right there. I easy gonna, way out. That's what I was gonna say. Easy but I guess since you said it, so I couldn't say it. All right, let's let's do this. Hit him back with the would you rather? Oh, oh, fudge. Um. All right, we're gonna go pros and cons, right? And then. We're erasing them from the face of the earth. This is a very political this answer. This is a very... You could have just said, no one's going to be mad. Yeah, no one's going to be mad. Okay. Shoot it straight. Just so know that if you say I think, me. I think... I think... <laughs> just, get, just know if you don't I say think we're keeping. Fudged. I think we're keeping... We're going to keep NCK. Oh, but damn. But Ricky, Ricky leaves. Let me explain. Let me explain. Because the age thing is very important as well. Very uh, that's effective. what I would say. He's a little bit older. He's lived a little longer. NCK is younger. So he still has... A career, right? They've been doing YouTube. You're for saying my career is <laughs> over? No, no. Listen, bro. Listen, Whoa! but listen, Whoa! listen, Damn. listen, Damn. listen. You could have just said me. You could have uh, just said me and ended it there. No, I. I, I think I, Ricky just announced that we will be finding a new co-host. Mm. Bro, listen. And guys, uh, give a round of applause for <laughs> DJ Fabuloso's last episode. Bro, let me explain. No, you don't have to explain. It's okay. I was about to explain for you. If if me and Nick were both in the same position, uh -huh. I would tell them to shoot me. I would say the same thing. Yeah, because the age, because yeah, he's for younger. Sure. I would, right? I would pick me. He'll carry the, he'll carry the legacy. He's younger, so he could be able I'll to pass carry. on the seed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's and fun. this is my thing. This is right. It's what is good for the business, right? If one of you guys had to die for the business, Ricky's taking that bullet, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, will, then drop a banger, spending overnight in overnight Ricky's challenge on Ricky's gravestone yeah. <laughs> overnight in Ricky's casket like all right chill out like you now. have chill out now oh, like wow. you're in the you're in it and then you're like he's like in there with you you know that's tough I don't know yeah I don't know if I know skip 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 okay okay <laughs> NCK <laughs> okay I guess we're just Wait, going you, around you, you would you rather is a great game and I have like a couple great ones right here Oh, let's let's do this. I was ready for yeah, NCK. Let's go. Yeah, quick answers, quick answers, quick answers. Yeah, yeah quick no, answers. no need, no explanation, bro. If you want to kill me off, just know. say. Okay, I don't want to kill you off, bro. Or, or, I love you, dog. No, it's I don't I don't love you anymore. Oh, see, man, it's shit. RTV, man. If there was a if if there was a okay, I'm gonna just say this. Would you rather if I saw a random person on the street? Never mind. I'm not even gonna say this. Oh my gosh, we oh just my, broke oh my, the set. You all oh. set. Every, hut, hut. Hut. Guys, we just broke. Oh my this goodness! This podcast set. Oh my gosh! Oh, he's hitting the camera now. Oh, oh. my gosh! Holy moly! Oh my goodness! I think he's zoomed in on it. Oh my he's goodness! It. There's no more. It's over. Guys. It's over. Wow! 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 We wow! We're gonna take a quick commercial break. <clears throat> Are you hungry? Have you ever desired anything? To put on. All right, we are back from the commercial break. Thank you, guys. Uh, don't know what happened there. Honestly, I don't know what happened there. Some will say Snoop Dogg dropped it like it's hot. But uh, back to the would you rather's, Ricky. Let's hear it. This is specifically for you, NCK, because mm, okay. everyone here is kind of you know everyone's kind of cuffed up. But um, would you rather find true love today or win the lottery next year? How much is the lottery? A billion. Ooh, Ooh. win the lottery. A million. Win the lottery. A million. A million. A million. Probably still win the lottery. Ten thousand over true love. Probably pick true love. I don't know if I'm even ready for that true love. See, that's though. what I'm saying. I think any amount you're picking the money. Yeah. I don't think no. you're ready. I don't think you're ready, dude. True love is nice. I don't know if you're ready though. Peace yeah. of mind, bro. Dude, it's like is he know, ready, Rohan? Sometimes no. you know. No. no. Nope. 
What do you? What He's do you? Definitely th- not. I want to. Th- okay, because you're. We still all hang out all the time. But where do you think? Mm-hmm. Where do you think? Is he good? So like we all we all know Nick keeps us up to date in what he's going on in his uh the girl circle but from the outside perspective I just went Where do you think NCK is at in his love life? If you could even say love, I would say just life. Yeah, life. I think I broke it down for him on a voice memo the other day. I mean basically he's in the game and he's shooting shots. I mean you're 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 a young Michael Jordan and you're in the game and you're trying to win championships right now. But what's the championship for him? What's that? I, I I that that's kind of up to him right now, but he's playing the game, you know. The, all the dramatics, all the emotions, like all that type of shit. He's in there for it, you I know. Think I found me a nice one. Yeah, maybe you know? he's got to find maybe he's got to find what what the actual championship is first, you know, that thing. I don't then, even know what I'm but playing it, for. Yeah, say the opposing say the right opponent comes to play. Mm-hmm. Is a brother ready? I think he could be. He could be. I think so. I, I could, could be. Depending on I the right be, one. I could be if I wanted. And, you know, I thought about this the other day. I hope she's not watching. I, I just w- went on a date with Is this, a nice oh, young lady last I night. he did say he was on <clears throat> I was on a date last night, well, the whole day. I hope she's not watching. Please turn this off if you are. Well, no, I'm going to send it to her. Yeah. But it's like What's her name? Yeah, Rohan has her number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, never mind. But uh, it's like, uh, man, I don't know if, I don't know, sometimes it's nice, like, just being, I don't know if it's a relationship or what I'm looking for, I don't really know, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm just out there looking around, and, you know, when you, sometimes you look around, and then you see something you like, it's like browsing in a store. I might go to Walmart, Mm -hmm. I might be walking through the aisles, I have a couple things on the list, and then I might just walk by something that catches my eye and put it in my shopping cart. Okay. <laughs> See, that's the generation, bro. There's just so many options is available. But, hey, nowadays, I might take bro. the other stuff out of the shopping cart. You know what I'm saying? With that being or said, I might, no. Or I might stop. Yeah. <laughs> what? I said, with that being, I mean, if, it's a shop, if, you're, in the shop, if you're in the mall on a grabbing shit, and you're shop, putting, shit, putting girls in your shopping cart, yeah, it probably ain't ready yet, man. But no, I mean, no, no, what I'm saying, I might, not. The, the I might stop. He, he's I might, talking about the metaphor. It's, yeah, I might. He st- came in with a specific list, but <laughs> hey. This thing, if that cereal looks good, I might have to eat it. For I might have to eat it for breakfast, but then I might have to keep eating it for breakfast every day for the rest of my life and be committed to that cereal mm. and stop shopping after that is what I'm talking about. Oh, you know? that's a big time Bro. change. Do you tell? Because <laughs> you you're going to the store multiple yeah. times wow. a week. Yeah. No, yeah, you, you got to chill. Oh, you my. Are. No, no but I'm saying you've been going on a lot of dates. No, 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 let me tell this story. Is that not true? You've been going on dates. Which is yeah, good, sure, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Sometimes oh, every now yo, and then, sure. R- listen to this. Listen to this. Last night while we were out at dinner, me and Sade, that's not her name, by the way. Me and Sade are out at dinner. Um, She put something on her Snapchat, and I was, like, on her Snapchat story. And then, Ooh, buddy made on a Snapchat Ooh. story. Damn, that's good. Man. Friends only? Yeah, but the, but the public? Her public one. Ooh. Not the private that's story. Dangerous, like the story. That's, that's dangerous, bro. That's dangerous. Yeah, it was kind of dangerous. That's bro. dangerous. That's what I'm saying, bro. But yeah. anyways, she puts me on yeah, her story. What if, Listen, she puts me on her story, and then uh, one of her girlfriends that she went to school with swiped up on her story and said, Damn, that dude used to slide in my DMs all the time. No! That, that's why. Hey, that's what you get, though. Woo! Austin, Texas the is pl- a good city. So if you have to move, though, Austin's good. You know? Oh, I'm like, yeah. You have right. to start like, me a new life. I feel like you'd be running into that. But wait, yeah, wait yo. What, NCK, what, buddy. Buddy's gone on a lot a, of dates in Tampa. There's, 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 nothing, about, yeah. there's nothing wrong with that, bro. There's, there's nothing number, wrong. It's a numbers game, Of course bro. you have to say that. No, for real, because I've been in that situation before, You've been bro. in that situation probably let 400, me be honest, 500 times. Let me be honest. You know how I resolved that? I don't talk to girls in the city that I used to go crazy in. I told her I'm a changed man. Mm, that's like text. That's chapter one. I said, that, that yeah, was, but that's like a classic line. Yeah. Now, well, she didn't. She wasn't even mad though. Like, yeah, she, don't need, she can't yeah, be yeah, mad. Yeah, yeah. She can. I'm, just, I, I, I'm just a great guy. She I've always done like, this. This is a quote I've seen, and I think it's true. Yeah, a man will only change for one woman. Mm, that's I good. don't know if that for that. I feel like, dude, if it's the right woman, you'll change. Like, if you really like her, but I'm not saying not change, but like no, I'm saying she'll pull you more, out of the game. I'm agreed. I'm yeah, agreed. She, pull, she can pull you out of the game, but but also See, all the all the people that are in one over no, here. Are like, yeah. Not, yeah, I'm yeah. saying not, not just for, not just for what. Like, there's more than one woman that I could possibly change for. Facts, facts. Yes, but the but, but once, it makes it the quote sound better, bro. Well, what? I'm just being realistic. It's not. There's more than just one. There's not only one out of the 10 billion people, 8 billion people, however many people. There's more than one. 
but that the, I would change for and pull myself out of the game. But let's let's go ahead. I and just maybe like two or three. Let's go ahead and okay. switch the roles real quick because I want to hear your perspective on this. Mm-hmm. You post Shardy on your Snapchat, mm-hmm. and, Shardy, and your and your bro <laughs> swipes up. He's like, "Oh, bro, I hit that. I, I already, oh, you know what I'm saying? See, now you yeah. would." Be, us I'll, men, I'll, I'll, us I'll, men, we're very territorial, bro. No, yeah, I have to know what you're saying for real. You know what I'm saying? Sure, yeah. So we we want to make sure that no one had that girl because that's how we that's what we think. Damn, when me? he puts it that way, think about it in that yep. perspective, bro. And I put it this way because I have a daughter, bro. So I think of everything that I've ever done could possibly happen to my kid. So I'm thinking of it like put it in that way before you end up going back to that shopping center. Make sure you know that cereal is getting recalled or there is a potential chance that you're going back to that shelf. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I have no idea what you said. Yeah, I don't know. I got lost. <laughs> you lost you. You <laughs> have me in the first half. <laughs> Wait, yeah, you got me in the first half. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'm just, just saying. Like, you're not Let her know what your intentions are, bro. Yeah, but you can't let no, the no, intentions no, be known too listen, early, yeah, though. Yeah, I agree with the rookie says. You can't let them know the intentions too early. And I think they, they, the girl has to be the one to be to say, like ask what this is, yeah, definitely. or yeah. Yeah. say, yes. oh, our like can't. the girl has to be the one to bring that up at all, dude. If you, like, if you bring that up as the guy, yeah, I feel like out. take that out. You know, you're why? Supposed wait, wait, why? Take out because, bro, you go on the first date, maybe even the second or third it date. It was our second date, and then you go like this. Hey, so what are we? She's like, chill out. I'm just trying to have a good time. She's got the leverage, man. Okay, and then if Shorty and if Shorty goes on another day with another guy, you can't be cheese. No, you can't. But you got to have that uh, sauce. You got to have that sauce that yeah, know that, yeah. that that guy ain't going to give her as good of a time as you. And if he does, then so be. Bro, if, if, you, have bro, to have, you have to walk in with that If your track. girl goes on another day with another guy, bro, you in the fault. You in the wrong. But Clearly. that's the thing. That's They're the thing. not no. even a date. She's, not, not, my, even she's not my girl. Exactly. It's a whole exactly. different situation. But, You're like married with a kid on basically. No, no, we hung no, out two saying, times. Everybody Dude, relax. You're sounding yeah, like not. a nine-year veteran who's been out of the league for 10 years, bro. The game has changed. The game has changed, bud. Come on. There's there's cell phones now. There's Snapchat. There's Instagram DMs So y'all get more. It would have been dangerous if I was still in the game. The thing is you can't. The thing is, nowadays, bro, the more that you are attached, especially early on, the more chance you just have of getting your feelings hurt yeah. and your heart broken. Mm. Let me say one thing, just in case she is watching, even if she's not watching, you know? I'll, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I uh, love you. Whoa. <laughs> this guy, this whoa. I'm playing, I'm playing. So what are we? I'm playing. No, <laughs> let me say something. Like, uh, you know, so, it's sometimes, you know, you're young. It's fun to go do your thing. You know, you guys are picking up what I'm laying down. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Go around, you do your thing, right? Mm-hmm. But also, it's also kind of nice when, you know, you don't have to always be playing the field, mm. fielding messages, responding to multiple people, having multiple conversations going. Sometimes it's kind of nice to have someone to actually do stuff with in the daytime. On a, con- on a consistent the, basis. Not just in the nighttime. On a consistent basis. Yeah. And they're cool. To hang out with. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't have to play offense and defense <laughs> and like in transition. That's you just want to be only <laughs> yes. on offense. Yes, scoring, yes, yes. Scoring, scoring, scoring. You know. Yeah, and when you find a good dance partner like yeah. Michael Jordan, and Scottie Pippen, dynamic uh, duo right there. Yeah, he yeah. ain't trying to trade Scottie Pippen every week and get a different player. Then you got to teach him how to play. Sometimes. Oh no, yeah, exactly. that's what I'm saying. You know, no so, like, but like sometimes it is like it is, but sometimes it gets old doing the prior. Yeah. So the second day, sometimes it gets old doing the latter. Sometimes. Mm. I, everyone is just like yeah, you want what you don't. Yeah, yeah. the balance it's cycles, bro. cycles. It's, it's a, yeah. cycle. It's the life cycle. Well, I wish you luck, bro. Honestly, thank yeah, you. You know, I think the I second, think I think the second date went good. That's good. That means they subscribe because every subscription was for you guys to have. Yeah. Pretty, subscribe good for luck. good luck, and yeah. I'll keep y'all posted on day number three. And then after number three, I'll probably stop talking about it just because, like, I don't want to jinx it, bro. And she could be watching. Actually, right. I, I have a question for RTV. Mm. What's something that you haven't done in your life that you eventually want to do. Get married? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it can't be asking, asking, I'm asking you, anything. Yeah. Or like uh, something say, you want to uh, learn. Get married. Um, something I'd want to learn. I definitely want to like start my own business that's not like centered around social media really. I don't really know what that is. I've had a lot of conversations with other people too who are interested in that kind of stuff. But like that's one thing. But at the same time, you know, so much stress and shit with that. Obviously, getting married. Definitely want to travel the the world with my buddies. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, bro. Like that's a big thing. I've, I've been I've been to I've been to India. I've been to Italy with my family. And that's a lot of fun. But going with the buds, you know, that's just a different level. Dude, that's right what we were, we were just talking fun. about it when we were out yeah. at dinner the other day. We were like, yeah. 
when you go with family, it's like it's good times, but it's just different when you're with like the boys. Mm-hmm. It's just oh, yeah. a different level, you know. It is. It's one hundred percent. It's just different. Man. It's funny. That's definitely bro. something that I want to do. I don't know. I mean, I think there are like two a kid, things. a kid, yeah. RT Junior. Have a kid? Nah, I don't really think about that right now, man. But I'm like, trying to avoid that at all but, costs. No, but, but at some point, yeah. <laughs> but eventually, yeah, yeah. But yeah, but that's like, not even on the horizon. Not even on the horizon. Like, you know, the other stuff is not like, even. You can about. see yourself doing that, like yeah, just just continuing to okay. learn in my career. At some point, get married, you know, and then yeah. So I, yeah, the things I haven't done yet: travel the world, with the buds. You know, maybe mm-hmm. we traveled America everywhere. We've traveled America. We've done that. Check yeah. that off. Couple times. Couple times. Uh, obviously, getting married or like the, those are like the two big things. I would say that would be pretty cool to do, right? I, mean, I think that makes sense. That's a nice, no, yeah. that's simp- simple. Like not simple, but yeah, it is yeah. simple. Bro, simple. love is a gamble, bro. So salute to you, man. For being and get married, for sure, for sure. Bro, you're, you're literally in a relationship. I don't, I just, kid, you know, it's <laughs> 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 you're talking about that like you're single. I'm just saying, like I'm. He's like salute to you, bro. You're a better man. You're salute to you for being able to, uh, you know. I'm trying to think what else I would say. I mean, you always got to think again, you know. Yeah. No, but simple simplicity. I think yeah, mm-hmm. traveling the world. I, I think that's I'm, one of the dopest things. I'm honestly on the same exact page as you. Once you kind of, d- not that we've done everything. Mm-hmm. No. We've done a lot yeah. of stuff though, where it's like. Not many oh, people. Oh, I done. mean, oh, I guess. Oh, buy a house would be the next thing. Yeah, um, I think that'd be a. I mean, that's like obviously a huge one, but yeah, yeah. I think that's gonna go kind of hand in hand with getting married. Married or like. What do you engaged. think's gonna happen first? Um, well, first comes marriage, and then comes the baby carriage. Yeah. No, in terms of the house. <laughs> yeah, house or uh, marriage first. Oh, uh, that's a good question. I don't know. At this point, it's probably a fifty-fifty either way. Could be fifty-fifty, but I don't know. Place your bets. Fun. Place your bets. What are you thinking? I think uh, he's going to propose with the house. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad idea. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, yeah, house, travel, getting married are like the big things. Those are big things, too. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, people. definitely. Those yeah. are yeah, crucial. Like, yeah. That's Traveling what people want, cool. right? In yeah. life is find love, have a family, and yeah. see the world. Be, and see the world, right? Those are the top three things, I feel like. Exactly. For real, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. What about you guys? Anything that I didn't say? <laughs> You know? Nope. Man, yeah, I'm, I'm on the exact same page, kind of. Yeah. Try. Oh, almost exactly. I guess, like, in sport, you could throw in, run a sub three-hour marathon. That's, like, a big feat for uh, just in general. Like, if you're a runner, sub three-hour marathons on there. That qualifies you for a lot of the big marathons. So, like, that's one thing, I guess, in, like, my athletic career. Mm. Um, Since you're professional. My, 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 my profession, sorry. I've, I've screwed that up, but... Uh, yeah, because you've already been five hundred pounds easy <laughs> for real. Five fifty two times squat a thousand deadlift eight hundred. So dang, that's pretty yeah, yeah pretty impressive. Once I'm you done. do that, it's like why why would you even stay big? No. Exactly, <laughs> I don't need. You've that. done all there is to do in that field. <laughs> mm-hmm. This isn't the fun fact of the day, but since you are a runner, did you know that the fastest human on earth, Usain Bolt, has scoliosis? I did not know that. Yes. Since when? He's been diagnosed and he's had it for a little bit now. Damn, that's Running terrible. up to 30 miles per hour is insane. Yeah, With his, back, his back is shaped like an S for speedy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> needs to man. But yes, oh, shit. Usain Bolt has scoliosis, bro. It's, it's insane. If that goes to show you nothing's impossible, bro. For real. Nothing is impossible. The goat. The goat. But for DJ Fab's fun fact of the week. 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 Let's get it. Okay. <clears throat> I'm ready, baby. Did you guys know... That supermarkets sell apples that are one years old. Let me go ahead and put that down. Let me break that down. Yes, correct. You guys could be eating a one-year-old apple. Farmers often pick up the apples <laughs> at the fall season, cover them with wax, hot air, and they also dry them. Therefore, they put them in cold storages. So therefore, your local Publix shopping center could possibly have an apple that is one yeah. years I mean, old. At this point in 2023, there's not much that can surprise me. Just with how that's not the most surprising fact either, no. though. I mean, you could have said five years. I'd be like, all right, yeah, there's chemicals uh, that can do that. I'm but sure. they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. That's facts. Eating yeah. old among the apples. But but I have a question about the one year old apple thing. Is it like one year since birth? Mm. Like since like just like the it starts budding. Out of the, I don't know how an apple is grown on a tree, right? Apple trees. Mm-hmm. Is it since like the formation? So it starts as a little thing coming out of the flower and just no, starts from growing. from pluckage, I think. From pluckage. From pluckage. Fall oh, season. Oh, a year is, from pluckage is actually absurd. Yeah. So farmers. It they, doesn't seem that crazy to me. I don't know why. 
No, because you, when was the last time you ate apple? Dude, those apples. I ate an apple this morning. Yeah, that's. It probably, has wax on it. You got to wash that off, though. That's that's what they do. So it's one year old apple. You're eating one year old apple. That is pretty. Like it, it seems like oh, this is so fresh. You know what True. doesn't seem fresh is uh, you ever had apples from McDonald's in little packages? Those joints are probably five years. Oh yeah, so, oh, there is so much preservatives in there, buddy. Oh yeah, there's no way that's healthy. It's probably they, mainly preservatives with a little bit of apple on the side. And they give them the kids. They're all in the kids' meal with the caramel. Oh, I don't give them. <sighs> it's probably better than like a McChicken and burger from there, though. Let's be honest, you know. Yeah, filet yeah. fish goes crazy. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You used to big, love those, You're a big right? filet fish oh, yeah. Actually, I heard Rohan was actually a big land, sea, and air type guy from McDonald's, which if you guys don't know what that is, land, sea, and air, you got the land, that's the cow, then you have the sea, that's the filet fish and then the air is the chicken. So it's like oh. a beef, and then a filet fish and then the chicken on top. RTV was a big fan of that. Crazy, man. Back in his bulking days. That, that, filet fish No way, man. You're land, crazy. sea, and air. Oh, that's... That's nasty, bro. That's nasty, man. There's no way. RTV's a nasty guy. I got a question for you two dirty dogs. Mm, okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Because y'all dirty, especially this guy. Dirty. Um, I guess, you know, we've done we've talked a lot about on this podcast a wide array of topics. <coughs> We're coming back to the YouTube space. So I think I asked this yes. one last time, but it's always so fascinating because I still watch a lot of YouTubers, you know. Mm-hmm. All the content they make, it's really entertaining. All you guys, it's still really entertaining. It's some cool stuff. But the content, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Appreciate the content that. Yeah, 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 and the you. strategy is always so fascinating. And when I was doing it, it was, to an extent, you're following some sort of, like, you know, play on what's doing well. But, like, for you guys, what, do you know kind of the direction you want to take the channel? Or is it more kind of just kind week, of, week over week, month over month type thing? Or... Yeah, because that's so. It's even. It's still very interesting for me. But what do you guys think? I mean, we've been, we've been, me and Ricky, like personally, we've been talking about this like a lot recently, like the past couple months, like ever since bringing Fab on the team, and like we, we got to like plan out like what we're doing because like we have Fab here, mm. you know, so we don't just want to not know what we're doing while we're paying Fab to, like help us and stuff. And Fab's about to have his kid, mm. so we're we're trying to plan out what we're doing, and like it makes it harder when it's only me and Ricky. So we've been talking about like, yo, what makes sense that we can do for like a long time mm-hmm. you know yeah like no. we've realized like we used to do a lot of pranks back in the day i feel mm-hmm. like probably more than we do now mm. but doing pranks nowadays <laughs> is tough bro because like there's so many people trying to do youtube tiktok and all these stores like around us there's probably a bunch of people going in there and filming so we can't really film in stores like we used to be able to mm-hmm. run it up in walmart they know right away yeah the game has changed like drastically but like you said earlier everything is Ever changing, so you just have to adapt. So crazy, yeah. No, you gotta, you definitely gotta find what works. Like almost like the format, like bro, the overnight format. Still to this day, we drop an overnight challenge. It's been like seven years since our first overnight, the overnight in Target. Seven yeah. years, we drop an overnight challenge. That thing still goes. It's that's that, so like that's one out of ten yeah. on on that on that little scale on yeah, YouTube. You, yeah, yeah, definitely. That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, I think even as a fan of IVP, I feel like I would want to see. NCK the musician try and do stuff like uh, like perform. I don't even know what that looks like. I don't know what you would have to do to do that, but like even at bars perform. I don't even know what that looks like, but yeah. put yourself out there. That'd be dope. And vlogging, that would be really cool. And then boxing would be really cool too. You know? I, don't, and yeah! I know it's really busy, but like Dang. that whole story would be really yeah, cool. Yeah, the thing Crazy. is like there's I gotta be like a like something that the people are like, yo, yeah, we want to like it's like a journey that they're yeah. on too. And I think those two things, w- like I think with what you guys have right now, those two things would be really cool to see. Or you know, and if you don't want to do that, that's cool. But no, I definitely do want to. I definitely want to do music and stuff. But We're trying to make the smartest play as well. Yeah, because yeah. uh, we we have like these plans. Like when we hit five mil on the main channel, we're gonna do five days in McDonald's. That's gonna be crazy. Which is gonna Bro, be crazy. It's insane, insane. Yeah. And then we have like ser- like series videos yeah. of yeah. we know those do well, but then it's also like the balance of like what do you want what do you want to do? And it's also this weird thing like I personally like I want to like like we're being ourselves more in the videos now and like mm-hmm. the podcast I think helps that and posting on like the vlog channel mm-hmm. we don't have to think as much like yeah. how we were talking about like when we're filming our own videos mainly on the main channel everything is like about the title and you want that video to be like concise and like banger, you yeah, know? Yeah. But then the vlog is kind of like 
something happens unscripted, you film it. Not yeah. that we script like the main, it gets not more that we script the main channel, but it's like you have a structure for the main channel like, type thing. The main channel is like everything that's in that video should be about the title. Like it adds to the storyline. The vlog, you get more raw, you leave more in, and then the podcast is completely raw. Yeah. Just yeah. like you when you go in uh, to yeah. his, yeah. your nuts in his mouth. Right. Yeah. You're um, just going raw. raw. Yeah. But then the like, vlog has like a little protection. <laughs> and then. Um, like you the can main, see, the, the main full, channel, the is, full, main channel, <laughs> main channel is full protection, and then maybe like a plan B after, just to ensure that it's really okay. protected. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, like you're not hearing this on the main, you know. Yeah, you're not. You're maybe not. the vlog, <laughs> but maybe some of it's cut a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but y'all gonna see it all. Like, I think, no, like, I feel that. as me and Ray, you're like getting older. Like you even see it with like other YouTubers, like uh, like aging up, kind of. Like Logan Paul was making like the crazy vlogs, and like he had mainly that like young kid. Vibe. demographic yeah That's, definitely that young kid vibe like super high energy just like yelling at the camera like you like he was a youtuber yeah. like you look at that dude and you're like oh that dude he does youtube you watch that intro and it's like what's up low gang today we're gonna be breaking plates boom 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh yeah. yeah 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 but i think like we're we're growing up and i think we want to like bring the content with us but in a way that works, so it's not just a drastic change. Yeah. I think a lot of YouTubers fail to make that transition. Yeah. They they're like they're they are that like YouTuber YouTuber, and then they like drastically just start doing like hard drugs or drinking in their videos, and it's like whoa. NCK yeah. is about to be twenty one though. But it's like you know what I'm saying that drastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that does like no, but you know what I'm saying that drastic change of like not to throw anyone like under the bus, but like. Like, Tanner Fox, like, I feel like he was, like, this way, and then he just, like, starts doing this stuff where you're like, whoa. I love Tanner Fox, though, by the way. Yeah, but And then he just stops posting for a couple months, and it's like, dang, I feel like that's a lot of, like, YouTubers. Even the ones that we grew up watching, like, maybe Mikey Mamps. Yeah. Like, he was, like, yeah. neck and neck. We were, like, on the same subscriber level. Yeah. Honestly, he was more popping than us. Yeah. And then he, like, did, like, all these, like, challenges and stuff, and then one day was like, Man, fudge all that. I'm doing I'm doing what I'm doing. And then it was like a, a complete 180 where all those people were like, whoa, why, why weren't you just being real with us from the beginning? Yeah. And I feel like you just like, you want to do it in a way where it brings the people on the journey because everyone wants the journey. Brings them on the journey and also like staying true to yourself mm. where it's mm -hmm. not like you're doing it only for the views and subscribers. Also, then I feel like that's how like, you burn out and you stop enjoying it. And then it yeah. becomes and like it a shows, job. It shows in the videos too. You know what I'm saying? Can yeah, you, that's a full, that's a big loaded question. You, and, you know, we're still <laughs> we're still figuring it out too, though. Yeah, like like, yeah. like it's like an Always. ongoing conversation too. Yeah, and like we're oh, not, I don't think we're ever gonna be like, I mean, definitely we'll probably like we're hit like, a groove. Yeah, you hit you hit a groove, and then it's like that groove lasts for however long it lasts, and then you kind of like analyze and look around. And you're like, all right, mm -hmm. maybe we could we could start doing this more. Like we want to start traveling more and like filming like a couple videos. Like go somewhere, film a couple videos, and then it's like for the main channel. That's like boom. And then yeah. like, and then vlogging like our adventures, like going wherever we're going, and like we might do a show out in Dallas like this summer or something, like vlogging that, and then mm -hmm. also filming a video while we're in Dallas. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You're never like, it's always it's you an ongoing groups. conversation. Yeah. yeah, I mean that, that's what kind of what trends. I do for a living is analyzing situations and stuff too. You know. So no let's, ever, let's hear your yeah. an, an, analysis on this situation. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think the analysis would be you guys are in a good spot because you have each other. I don't know if Tanner Fox had, like, a, he doesn't have another brother. I know he's got people who he pays probably a good chunk of money to to help him do his stuff. Mm -hmm. I know Mikey Mamps didn't really have a team either. It was just kind of him. And those are, like, two massive variables that I know for a fact hurt, definitely hurt me. I didn't really have someone. I didn't have a brother. That's huge. You guys got each other, so you got to play off each other's strengths. Mm -hmm. Like, for you, you've got the music. That's huge. Right? Yeah. I mean, you have you, the music. Yeah, goes you play off each other's right? strengths. Like, yeah. if you need to, like, all right, NCK is going to box, so he'll go in there and box. If I need to go, like, get a crazy reaction from someone, sub me in. I'm going to, exactly. I'm going to cheese someone off. Yeah, so it's key that you guys can play off each other's strengths. And then, I mean, yeah, to your point, experiment, just make sure you're enjoying it. I think the biggest key, though, I think the audience would say yes, too. They want something that they can, like, even me, like, the, the big creators that I think of when I'm not, like, on the YouTube app are the ones that have, like, a story going on or the last video I watched with them was just so crazy that I have to go see what the hell they did next. Yeah. But then also, you don't always want to be posting the craziest shit ever because it's it hard gets, to do that. It gets tough. You, yeah, it's you, tough. Yeah, every, like, but, yeah. like, if you have a, a, a storyline or something, that's critical, you know? Yeah, yeah. I feel like that helps a lot.
But I mean, yeah, it's hard. It's not easy. Yeah, like yeah, definitely the boxing thing. Like everyone, but all people would like top that. dude. They would love the journey. Like they they, like it. we can make UFC and all right, the who's episodes. it gonna be? No, I say man, low key, bro. I don't know. That'd be huge. I'll I join think. you. I don't know who you're fighting, but let's. I mean, I'll be moving back here too soon, though. So we'll like, go crazy. I'm always down to work out too. Like you don't have to lose hesitate, too, you know. You know? I want to lose. Just pick some easy. That's they negative. don't have to pick easy work, but don't like, about dude, losing, bro, there's bro. no such thing as losing. NCK, it's yeah, how you take bro, it. It's, like, you take it's it. definitely how you take it, but like, dude, come come like, on, bro. yeah, bro, I'm, I'm not, not gonna, gonna lie, bro. Not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. When I got in that thing and they put me right against like Ryan Johnson, like if I fought anyone else that night, I probably could have beat like some people, but they put me in there, and boom, demoralizing for sure. Like, damn, bro, demoralizing, and not only that, but it's like that was like there was only like maybe like 30 people in that room. Like if you're fighting someone. Like, like the fight, like if I were to fight someone, it would be in front of like thousands of people. But also, it was like, of like millions of people online too. Yeah, millions. Like that is every true. big that is YouTuber true. was filming that thing and they posted it, yeah, bro. That is true. That is true. You you're, know, you're in Tampa but, though, man. You got some good resources. I'm sure there's people who would be down to like help you and really yeah. push you, who like know what the hell they're doing. Jake Paul was in the. There's a gym here that Jake Paul used to box at before he moved to Puerto Rico. He's not undefeated and anymore. Like, oh, like is the hype gone sure. from Jake because he took L? <coughs> nah, like, it's down a little so. bit, but it's still good. He can sell. He's about to fight Nate Diaz. He needs a knockout, though. He See, can't. he goes to show, you know? Dude, that's crazy. He's about to fight Nate Diaz, and Nate Diaz is like, man, that's like pretty close to McGregor. So it's like, not like, I'm not talking skill wise, but like, like in like terms of like credibility but, and stuff, you know? It's like Nate Diaz, UFC Hoss. Yeah. Like, uh, Jake fighting Conor McGregor a couple years ago. It seems like, dude, what like what are you doing? You're a YouTuber, but yeah. now it's like Jake fighting Conor McGregor. I could see it happening. I used to think, yeah, I think it will. You think it will? And I think Jake wins. Yeah, I think, I think it'll happen, dude. I think uh, Jake needs some knockouts though. He can't keep taking people's Facts. decisions. Yeah, if he beats Nate Diaz, it's it's a good step. If he knocks maybe out. athletics though, bro, because as the group as they're growing up, people love like I just noticed like I want to know how many people that watch this podcast have started or want to think about going to the gym because I feel like it's a lot. Like, when I go to the gym, I feel like I meet a decent amount of, like, fans there that are like, yo, I, like, work out. Even, like, Alex Eubank, like, he grew up watching us. And now he's, like, a full-on... Well, how, what's your demographic? 70, like, 30 male, right? Or is it less? Yeah, about so, probably 80 80, male. 80, 20. 80, 20, yeah. So, a lot of those kids, like, the Bud, you saw at Busch Gardens, I'm sure. I mean, when he gets into... I don't know how old he was, but... I saw a lot of people at Busch Gardens. There will like be a, a time where be a time he, where he'll have to be like, shit, man, am I going to do sports? And like, oh, well, Nick does sports, so I'll do sports. And a lot of kids are already doing sports. I mean, most people will probably be doing sports. Sports or working out or, or work just or like, something. like some fitness. And you like can motivate them to do it or they're already doing it and they can relate. Isn't that crazy, boys, that we wake up and there's four plus million subscribers who we can literally impact their lives every day. And that's what we really wake up for is just to change the world. Because there's some people out there messing it up for us, bro. Mm. Like social media has such a negative toll right tiktok for example right a lot of people don't like tiktok it makes money for people on tiktok and there's some positive people mm -hmm. but it's it's what narrative people view it as and yeah. that's what we're trying to do is make everything positive entertaining at the end of the day so it's it's crazy i was at a water park with my daughter and same exact thing kids come up oh my yo we watch the videos we watch the videos and it's like do they watch the videos because we're negative people or or what is the narrative? And it's all about positive stuff at the end of the day. So I think we're doing a great job, boys. And Good stuff, man. It's come to it's time to work. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're right. I mean, for me, the too, too, though, like when I watch the uh, YouTube vids for It Is What Is podcast, I mainly am watching just for that camera angle. And so... His thighs? Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. You know? But uh, no, to your point, that's facts, man. Speaking from the heart right there, Fabian Garcia Jr. I don't know. I've learned a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I personally don't never wanted to be famous or rich and being here, right? You, we we could agree. You guys you guys are set. You guys are a little wealthy for sure. And I've never never for an instant wanted to be a mansion or anything or oh man, I want what Nick has or I want what Ricky has. I think I understood purpose of why people do things. And that's why I became a YouTuber after the tour is because there's a there's two Asian brothers here. <laughs> That are very impactful, bro. And they could change people's lives with either words or just some form of content. And then hanging with Rohan. And I've grown individually as a content creator to understand that influence is actually... Being an influencer and a content creator are two different things. Content creator, bro, you just make it just because you you know they're, they're going to pay for it or, or brand deals or yada yada. But when you're an influencer and you actually have a kid like 
pleading out for you on an Instagram message talking about I'm depressed, I need help, and you're on that phone call for like, I think it was like 20 minutes for one time, this kid just depressed, and you change his life and his mom's crying on the phone, bro, that is what I mm -hmm. genuinely appreciate about being a part of this group. It's, it's never no money or anything. Like, I've been able to grow as an influencer, and that's what I would rather... There's no other people I would rather be with. No cap. All right, Haas. I'm um, for real. That is, that is true. Like it's whenever, the truth. Whenever uh, like I'm out in public and like I'll meet like a fan, or like when I was at the theme park the other day, like whenever I meet people, it's always like, bro, like everyone's like happy to He was see wearing you. the merch, too, which yeah, is I, crazy. I, I met a kid wearing the merch. We'll pop up a picture. But like I met like probably like 15, 20 people that day that watched the videos, and they're always like... It's always they're like happy to see you. Like you made a positive impact on your life. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Was the was the dude you saw in Miami wearing wearing Ricky's merch? Was he really happy to see you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was like or too, oh, soon. Or too soon. Oh no, he was very happy. <laughs> yeah. I but spent overnight in your van last night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, yeah, that's facts though, man. Y'all killing it. All right, all right, all right. But man, yeah, man, it's like mm. yeah. I think yeah. One thing is. All I got to say, man. But Some, my I thighs, mean, bro. Tell me. Go ahead. Tell me. I mean, obviously, your thighs are massive. I, tell me how thick. But bro. I was just going to say, NCK. <laughs> yeah, tell him to drop music. Can you tell yeah, him? Maybe you don't listen to me. Bro, like, you don't we, listen we, to we me. We can talk about that. Just for you don't listen to me. He don't that. listen to me. He may listen to you. <clears throat> no, because listen to me. My This is, this is me. This is me. I, I know where you're thinking. This is, this is where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we enjoy making videos. I mean, it's like, it's so dope that we get, this is what we get to do mm -hmm. for, like for a living. Mm -hmm. But you also got to think of it in a business sense to make money. Cause like, mm -hmm. if we're not making money doing this, mm -hmm. then we won't be able to keep on making videos. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking like, all right, let's get everything back up and going. Cause all right, we did the overnight marathon in the end of last year. Got everything year. popping. Got everything, got, got everything popping. Like the main channel was going again. But at that point we hadn't been posting on the second channel in like a, like half a year, the podcast, we stopped doing the podcast, but the second channel and the podcast, they're not really making, they're losing. They're not losing money. Definitely. They, uh, no, they're definitely not losing money. I don't know. Okay. So this well, exact thing. Not, what do you guys no, mean? This you know, exact like pod is definitely losing money. <laughs> the pod's not losing money. Okay. I, you can look at it. Wait, RTV, it's say what you're about to say. Not say money. what you're saying. This exact right conversation. No, okay. no, this exact not, conversation. No, but look, but look, no, I'm saying, no, I'm letting you know. Cause yeah, I get you. I get you. What do you mean you get me? You said it's losing money. All you have to do is look at the numbers and do the math, and it's not – this pod's not losing money, and the vlog channel is, like, making, like, a little bit. Obviously, the main channel makes by far the most money. Mm. Like, Without the main channel, nothing else is possible is what mm -hmm. I was trying to I know, say. But, I know, yeah. but I don't – it's not losing money, though. I don't think it's good to, like, talk about – like, you're just, like, manifesting it being bad. I'm like. not manifesting it being By bad. Saying, I'm being oh, honest. No, I mean, I'll be honest, it's not you know, losing money. You know the business it thing? Because Ron's talking about in no, the business. No. Sense, I, say, I don't this, know. I, I, no, I it does. It's say, easy math. This conversation money. is exactly like why I got hired to do what I do. It's because like one person doesn't agree with the other person. So it's like, who's going to go out and figure it out? Fill the process to track it. So there is no ambiguity. It's right in front in of your face. In terms of this is how I'm... Out. In terms of... And it should be... And business you should wise... Be, you should be able to pull something up on your phone and be like... Business wise... Yeah, in we're terms, fucking in the red right in, now. In terms of like we're business, spending time and not business, doing that's what, stuff? This is what I'm talking about. In business terms, the main channel provides 95% of the income for everything else to be able to run. And if you think about it, I'm not talking about losing money, but yeah, if you talk about like buying all this equipment and all this stuff, it's definitely, yeah, down. If we're just being honest. Yeah. And the time I'm talking about the time being spent is yeah, main channel is what allows everything else to happen. But these other things are very important because it gets you like it. It's just a great creative outlet. This is like the best times too. Mm -hmm. Good and time. And I think it builds that deeper connection, deeper like connection, deeper, like core audience. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Like we want to like do the merch again. And like, these are the people that like yeah. really rock. Like, yeah. You, yeah. You, if you're watching this, like you really rock with the buzz. Mm. Oh, I'm hundred percent you know? saying yeah. like, I love the, and I think the vlog has Crazy potential. Yeah, I think it has potential, and it's like, we, uh, so this is what we're talking. We're talking about why I'm not dropping music. Let's get back there. Yes, yes. Like so then I'm like, all right, let, let's get everything back up and going. The music, I mean, it definitely makes money, but like it wasn't a focus, you know. So I'm like, all right, let's start posting on the main channel again because we we took like a month or two or three break in the beginning of the year where we month. like a month, one month, a month. But it was like, was it only a month? No, it was yeah. more than more it was than more a than month. a month. More I think it was month. like a little more than a month. More not than two a month. months though. All right, well, it was like about a month break where we didn't Month post. and a half, man. Month, month and a half. half. See, maybe we just need to hire know. Rohan, I honestly. Don't know, I don't know. Who cares how long it was? It was a, this is a amount of time. 
You're the one that called me the out. Mediator. And said a month. Rohan, the mediator. So we took a month break, whatever, and then I'm like, let's get everything posting again. But then for us to be able to like keep posting, we need someone besides like me and Ricky. And yeah. that's how DJ Fab yeah. like came into the picture. Just cause like for the vibes, like when you're filming with only when it's just me and Ricky, I don't know, just sometimes like you know, like imagine Dude. you filming with your brother all the time. Yeah, like no. you would just like be, imagine filming with your brother for eight years. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and then you know, I can, yeah, I mean, it's like so, also that's what you were always there for us, or like maybe Theo or like yeah, someone, Fab, like, yeah. someone to push someone. us, and yeah, also I'm, and also be in the like a part of the videos too. Yeah. I'm your replacement, bro. Hey, your replacement. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be just like Art the Hutter. <laughs> All right, but uh, everybody, so yeah, you, you're, every, you're, you're doing good at losing those challenges. <laughs> bro, so keep I, going. I, <laughs> yeah, facts. They're cheating me, bro. I get cheated. Yeah, 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 is like everything classic. for real. And you always get hurt in the video. Yeah, I mean, bro, I don't. I always get hurt for real. And I think, yes, I think everybody, me, everybody has a key part. I think that's why we hold each, we hold mm -hmm. each other accountable as well. But it's like building the team up, and yeah. then it's like that's like last on the priorities. Yeah. So, but yeah. music coming soon is what I'm hearing. Yeah, I mean, I have like a bunch of songs that are like they're hangers. They're like already made. Like his catalog is fat. That's all I can say. Just like, and then you also overthink it. Like I know you. I don't think you understand. But it's like, no. Why are you pointing to me? I understand no, the music thing. No, no, I don't think you do. Like DJ Fab makes music, but I didn't even say anything. Lot, Rohan was the one that's saying, "Why don't you just drop?" I understand the music thing. No, like well, you'd be overthinking. Like wanting you'd to be drop. over. No, because the other week you were like, "Dude, well, I don't understand. Like, why people that make music they don't just drop a bunch of music?" Because it's like once you put it out, it's like a whole different like feeling, bro. Like. I'm, I know I it's key. That. It's key. It's key to. I know it's. I know it's key to do it. I mean, I'm just like not prioritizing it, but I'm aware of that. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I don't know. There's just like a lot that goes into it, and before yeah. you put something out, it's like it's a whole. It takes on a different life when you put it out, and then also everyone like knows us for doing YouTube. Like when we drop YouTube videos, the comments are pretty positive. Like they're pretty like supportive, and they're like because it's it's like what we're known for, you know. Yeah, and it's like. Me switching up to do music, it's not like a complete switch. Like, we've dropped songs in the past. Yeah. But there's always those negative comments, and there's more negative comments when I drop music, and it's like those ones just stick out more, mm. yeah, you know? So then that. it's like, then you start overthinking it even more. Yeah. And yeah. you're like, am I even good? <laughs> yeah, I feel But like I know that I'm good. Yeah, you got. Yeah. You are good, bro. No, definitely you're good. You're very good. For but I'm, sure. No, but that's like the explanation. I see the music thing, but I think that the world, if I'm just being too honest, the world is getting this point where you just got to drop and go and just keep going oh that's because back in the facts. day when we were dropping it was very more selective almost facts. like the youtube world was gate kept in a way no one talked about like how much they were making no one talked about like certain things nowadays people are dropping like every their whole like personal info being like i don't care here's everything mm -hmm. uh, and they just keep on going that's me i'm that i'm that person which you know one? why which one i'm the one who just music to me is my therapy i i I'm a very uh, deep person inside and I go through like stuff and I read stuff and I get in my head a lot. I make music for me to release like, like an outlet. It's just an outlet for mm -hmm. me, bro. It's my, it's, it's the, how I escape, bro. Like mm -hmm. when I'm in the shower, bro, I, I cry because I woke up today and there's people who don't, and I feel all this different emotion. So I make music that's relatable to everybody, or maybe it has to deal with me, but music, I drop it because I feel sad that day or I just make the song and that's how I feel. And even if I don't drop it or do drop it, bro, it's still a positive it's, outcome for you. It's for yeah. me. Like I'm, you're I'm, so glad you made yeah, it. Yeah. Right? I'm making music for the ones who are scared to speak or even for alone for myself. Like I'm in a room and bro, suicide is not talked about a lot. I feel like, and these are the topics that I just, I try to target and sit there and just, I just make it whether I drop it or don't drop it. It's for me. Yeah, that's good. It's that's just a good for me just to, to, to release whatever I'm feeling that day, bro. Yeah. And it's also like, this is another reason too. It's like, I didn't want to drop it on the second channel while we like, we haven't posted on there for like, a, like I don't know, like 90 <laughs> days. It's like, yeah. Yeah. you just drop a song out of nowhere and it's like, that song could do so much better if everything was also going. Yep. Yeah. It's like, if I have a banger song, I have banger songs, but it's like... I don't just want to drop them in the middle of nowhere. Definitely. And then you start overthinking that, and you're like, all right, when's the best time? And soon enough, you just have to pull the trigger. Yeah. But it's also, you don't just want to do like, all right, boom, let's post on the channel, haven't posted in like half a year, boom, song. There and then go. it's worse, and people are like, I didn't subscribe for the songs, I want yeah. this, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I feel that, man. Yeah. Damn, it's so tricky. It seems like there's so many things that could happen, or, you know. But I think we're, we're like getting back in the hang, like the mm -hmm. main, we're like, we're like, Ahead and like just filming videos more, it's key. Definitely, we're, just we're doing, doing, just planning, just doing. do it, just plan, do it, just do it, man. And what what's the thing? Uh, 
uh, you had that little phrase when we were out filming the overnight challenge. We were filming like the hide and seek, and Ricky kept on retaking. Oh, diminish, uh, the law of diminishing oh, yes, marginal great. This returns. Is great. I mean, Wait, say, say it one more time. So the law of diminishing marginal returns. Like, what would happen is Ricky would sit there and film the intro like seven times, and I was like, all right. So after I, I like, <laughs> for me, I would say all right. After the first maybe two or three takes, after that, like you're kind of just filming the same shit. Like I was sitting there watching like, yeah, like take four was the same as three. <laughs> Five was maybe two. Like this is the same stuff. Like, I don't know how much better we're getting here. Yeah. 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 And now you're like 30 minutes into the, f- the day more, maybe oh, even more at times, depending upon how crazy this guy is at or whatever the hell's going on, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's so it's like, dude, yeah, you're just diminishing my, I don't even know what I'm saying now, but like, you're, you're just get, wasting so much time. You'd rather time, get like bro. 90% and just do it quicker than waiting to try and get that 100% and it takes the whole day. Yeah. You get yeah, do yeah. that for the music, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no, definitely, definitely, definitely. But yeah, so that's all I'm saying. But uh, yeah, man. You guys yeah, yeah, I, I forgot where we were even going with wow. that. Wow. Rohan Kohli. January 15th, 1999. That's my name. Don't wear it out. That is the day I was born. Yes, sir. Cincinnati, Ohio. Yes, sir. Name of many creative content creators, such as I Show Speed. You mean the birthplace of many? Jake Paul, Logan Paul. This guy, man. Roman Outwood, and the Bengals. Damn, man. Favorite, <laughs> favorite color? Favorite color? Black. Black. Ooh. Oh, because those legs are covered in black. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything you wanna you wanna tell the people? Is the there people? like a if you were talking to little Rohan, mm. watching Hutter Junior? Yeah, I would just say again, be proactive. Do not be reactive. Like, don't if something comes up and you're like, ah, oh, shit, I have to do it because this. Oh, that's tough. That's disappointing to hear. I hate when I hear that because it's like everyone has a decision they can make to just go and. Go ahead and do it now. And most of the time, like if it's a failure, you'll learn why it failed and you can um, make a better decision the next time, I would say. But like being proactive, always have a proactive mindset. Mm -hmm. No one owes you anything and it's really easy to be like, sometimes some people be waiting, you know, they think people have to do shit for them because it's just like, oh, you know, he's nice or whatever. But just be proactive, man. That's all I got to say to anyone watching this thing, man. Be proactive. Just mm. go out and get it done. There's that bar in that one song by Drake. He said, Nike doesn't pay me to tell you just do it. I, he says, I'll just show you how I do it or some shit. Uh, you, know was, yeah, you definitely butchered that one pretty I bad. Said, some, I know. I don't know exactly. Nike doesn't, Nike doesn't pay me to tell you just do it. They show me. Uh, I, I, don't even know, I don't even know what it is, but it's a <laughs> great <laughs> bar. It's like, I'm not going to talk about it. I'll just show yeah. you. Yeah. I'll, let me Because you. if you're not making the decision to be proactive, you're making the decision to not do anything. You know what exactly. I'm saying? And you you might not, that might not even be your fault. You're like, I didn't even do anything. Yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't even a bad, yeah. but your decision not to be proactive is a decision in itself. Exactly. I found, especially if you're hearing this, cause now you're aware if you were unaware and ignorant before or like ignorance is bliss. If you didn't even know that, then yeah. it's like, Oh, okay. Exactly. But now that you know that you can, it's up to you. I found the bar. Nike don't pay me to tell you, just do it. They pay me to show you. I do it again. There you go. Damn. Something like that. Yeah, that makes sense. So uh, that's the only piece of advice I would say to anyone, man. And I think any people I work with, too, they would always say, yeah, he's proactive and he, like, goes and... If you don't wait for someone to it, tell you to do something. Yeah. You just kind of do. I'll ask questions when I need help. And a lot of times you know that you probably should be doing it, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like, if you take course. a step back and look at it, it's like, yeah. well, you could wait until, like, you really need to do it. You could. Or you yeah. could just take initiative. Do what you know you need to do. You're not going to be proactive all the time. I mean, I'm definitely reactive in a lot of little things in my life, um, like, you know, cleaning and stuff like that. But like when you got when you got too big, like you reacted to that and you're like, oh, I need to run more. Exactly. You should have been proactive and been running the whole time. (laughs) Exactly. No, you're right. That's facts. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Who holds you accountable now? RTV. I would say. Mainly myself, but it's like the uh, people around. <laughs> I know me, you though. wanted a different answer. No, it's like no, the no, people no, no, around no. me. You know, like I wanna, I wanna prove the people who believed in me right. You know what I mean? The mm-hmm. people who employed me, who like me, who like working with me. I wanna prove them That's right true. that they made the right decision. I don't wanna prove anyone wrong. I wanna prove the people who believed in me right. That's a positive mindset. That they just, made the right decision. You're you're That's probably one of the most positive people. Like the the most positive people were probably the two here. Definitely. Like when it comes to mental mindset, like when you guys are strong, you guys are really strong. That's why I asked you that question. Yeah. Not like saying you guys are probably thinking Ravina, right? I mean, yeah, to an extent. Yeah. I mean, she believes in me. So I want to prove her right for sure. You know, but he got that dog in him. You don't need. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. No, that's good though. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. That's good. 
<laughs> That's great. I do want to thank you too for supporting for my surgery on my eyebrow. Yes, sir. I got you. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you for uh, coming on and uh, being our number one most recurring guest. That's yeah, incredible, guys. Incredible, man. Let's go. Thank you. If you want our TV back again, uh, just uh, run it up on this podcast. Subscribe, like, send it to a friend, maybe a friend who hasn't seen the vids in a while. Or they, they've been missing RTV in their life. And if you're still watching right now, pop on the It Is What It Is playlist right before you go to bed. Let all the videos run while you're sleeping. Major key to life right there. If you want to be proactive. Yeah, be proactive. <laughs> don't wait until you need to play them. Play them, play them right now and let them just play. Yep. Yeah, that's what, right. Open your computer. If you're not using it, make sure the podcast is playing in the background. Yeah, if you've got a smart TV, put it on the smart TV Facts. and the computer. I know you probably got a phone too. Put it on the phone too. If you're an iPad kid, throw it on the iPad too. Or yep. go to the Apple Store, yeah. bring up the playlist, pop it on every single iPhone in yep. there, and let it run. We're serious about this too. We're trying to be proactive. We don't want to wait until Apple's like, hey, why weren't you putting the podcast on our phones? Just do it now. Sneak into your school computer lab, put all the computers to IVP. It is what it is. Yep. Let playlist play. is the key though. Yeah, the, yep. the playlist, playlist so only our videos Just play. Because there's another It Is What It Is podcast, and fudge them honestly. Right, King? You're pink. pink. Fudge them, man. I'll never love them. Honestly, guys, this is the only It Is What It Is podcast that really, truly matters. We That's are right. the one. Yes. So don't, make sure you don't. The other that. one's pink. Yeah. I, nothing's wrong what, with being bro, pink. Nothing's wrong, wrong with pink, but like, <laughs> especially this month, you know, it's okay to be pink. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying, but I'm just saying, like. He's not saying. He's it just is what it is, bro. He's not saying, but it imitation, is. Imitation. I'm just going to say, which one came first? Imitation is the best form of flattery. Hey, facts. All right, good shit, boys.